What's up everybody, my name is Dwight and welcome back to GeForce Garage. We have covered a couple of GTR mods recently on the channel, but today we are going classic muscle with Lee Harrington's Pontiac GTO. So we brought in Lee Harrington of PC Junkie Mods to show off his insane Pontiac GTO. What is this built around? So this is a Corsair Bulldog that we actually did the mod around. There's not much left of the Bulldog itself except for you know, the main frame. And mm -hmm. obviously from the back here you can tell I didn't do many changes, but the front is all gone. I modified the sides here and even mm -hmm. modified the top. I see that there's a couple of pins here on the front, so can we pull up the hood? Yeah. That is super cool. I like the, the hydraulic arms that are in here too. Yeah, those are actually, you can pick those up on Amazon or something for drawers for your cabinets or whatever, uh -huh. so. Do you know what the, the specs are of the PC? The Bulldog comes with the motherboard. It's a Z270 and then it has an Intel i7 in it. It's got their special edition Torx RAM, the 3216 gig. That's basically what this build was built for. To, okay. You know, for this RAM kit because it's got that hot rod look to it, you know. Yeah. Um, yeah, yeah, it does. And then it also has their small form factor power supply with a sleeve cable kit in it. And then of course you have the GTX 1080 Ti. Yeah. You need the horsepower. Oh yeah, you gotta yeah. have that. So what materials did you use to actually make the outside? There's actually a lot of Bondo on here. For the base, I actually used Hobby Lobby style foam, you know, that stuff that you can just cheese grate and right. it just crumbles yeah. everywhere. Mm -hmm. So I used that to kind of get my shape and then I put a lot of Bondo over that and then mm -hmm. sanded and sanded and sanded and sanded. You know, another <laughs> one of those sanding episodes, yeah. right? Right. And polystyrene bumper, hood, insert. So uh, how did you get your bumper to look so shiny? That would be Ron Christensen, Blue Horse Studios. He actually gave me the insight to lay down like a nickel or silver or anything that's got a really good gray tone mm -hmm. before you put the chrome down. And you got a bunch of switches on the back. Does that mean that the headlights actually work? So yeah, so actually I think these ones are headlights. Wow. So you got headlights <laughs> and great. lo and behold, you got flashers. You got the emergencies, right. So. And I noticed you have a really cool like flame paint job on here. How long did that take you to do? That actually only took Nano from Air Raid Airbrush a day to do. Oh. He was pretty quick to knock it out. I couldn't even draw some stick figures, so <laughs> let's not even go there. So what was the hardest part about doing this whole thing? Well, this whole thing was like totally different for me. I do a lot of hardware, I do uh, metal fabrication, I do a lot of that stuff, but actual creativity, that has never been in my ballpark because of the fact that I usually shy away from it and me and Ron will do it together. He'll right. do the creative part. I'll do all the hardware and the metal fab. Mm -hmm. um, Ron wasn't available and I uh, had a short time frame. Yeah. So this is actually my first mod that is totally out of the box for me. Well, it um, looks killer, man. You, you, did, you did a great job for your first time. All right, Lee, thanks for coming by. Thanks for having me. I know it won't be too long before we see another mod from you. If you guys liked watching this video, be sure to hit the subscribe button down below and we'll see you for the next one.